Okay, welcome back everybody. So in this episode, we're going to start spawning our live 2D characters. And to do that, we're going to need to make a, a small change in our character manager script, uh, at least in my instance, because I am now spawning live 2D characters on a separate canvas. If you're not, then, and you're spawning them right on this regular canvas because you're not using sprite characters or whatever reason, then you don't need to worry about this part. But since I'm using a separate canvas, for these characters, uh, I need to change which canvas and panel they're actually spawned onto if they're live 2D or if they're regular sprite characters. So if we look at our character manager script, we've got the character panel that is assigned and we use that whenever we spawn our character to instantiate the object in the scene. Well, if we're using these different character types and different canvases and different panels that they spawn onto, we need to reference the correct panel for the correct characters. So I'm going to go ahead and future-proof us and give ourselves a character panel for Live 2D, and as well as the model 3D. And then I'll duplicate these fetchers so character panel live 2D and character panel model 3D as well. And then just change these references up. Okay, so inside of character, this is the base spawn function that runs on every character type we have. So initially, we're just spawning them on the main character panel, but if we're using multiple, then let's go ahead and run ourselves a switch statement to check which panel we need to spawn the character on. So we can do that by looking in the config at the character type and then evaluate what it is that we need to uh, fetch. So let's check for, first of all, the case of sprite character or the case of the sprite sheet character. Then let's grab the rect transform for our parent panel. And if we're a sprite character, then we'll say parent panel equals the character manager dot character panel. Otherwise, if we are at live 2D, then character panel equals character manager character panel live to D, and then we'll go ahead and break off of that. And lastly, for the 3D model character, so character manager dot model 3D, then parent panel equals character manager dot character panel model 3D, and then we'll go ahead and break that as well. Whoops, that did not work. The character type dot model 3d there we are so that'll grab us the parent panel and then we'll just swap this out for parent panel so now we can spawn them on the correct object so let's try that out in test characters i'm going to remove all of this and i'm going to go ahead and make a new character so actually we'll spawn so we'll just spawn raylene not going to worry about Stella. Uh, then I'm going to do a character live 2D and call this Mao and set that equal to create character Mao, which can create character is a shortcut I made for character manager create character. And I'll spawn her as a character live 2D. So then we'll say Mao.set position to vector2 and setter to the right side of the screen. And in order to determine what character type Mao is, we need to add her to the character configuration. So let's go to the character configuration object and go ahead and add a new entry for these live 2D characters. So instead of generic, I'm gonna make this one Mao and I'll go ahead and look inside the characters folder. So I really don't need an alias for her, that's pretty short as it is, but I will change the type to Live 2D. And then I'll make one for uh, Koharu, Netori, and Rice. So, Koharu, and then KO, Live 2D, this one will be Netori, 
and we'll set that to nat live 2d and the last one's going to be rice okay so now that we have these guys in the configuration asset, it, the character manager should be able to look in here, find that they're live 2D, and spawn them on the right spot in the screen. So let's go to our character manager under the managers here, and make sure that we assign that panel. So right now, live 2D is set to nothing, so I'm going to grab the characters panel from the live 2D panel here. Characters, I'm just gonna name that live 2D. So when I see it in the inspector, I know what that is. Okay, so now that it's on the manager, let's go ahead and try to spawn the character in and see what happens. Okay, cool. So we do get both characters. We get Raylene, and we can see Raylene spawns inside of the regular characters panel, while Mal has spawned inside of the live 2D canvas, and she's rendering onto our main screen. But right now, there's no difference between Mao and Raylene because they're both, they both appear to be still images. And that's because we haven't assigned anything to the animator for Mao. But I'm going to end off the video here because that's all we need to get our character spawning onto the scene. So I'm going to start the next video and make that where we can actually start animating our characters. So we'll get into that in the next video. Pretty simple, straightforward, uh, but really good stuff for the live 2D characters. So I'll see you guys then.